So here on my channel, we typically talk about anything that has to do with music, movies, you know, any sort of type of media that is coming. But one thing that I know for certain is that one thing is currently changing the industry as we know it, and that thing is AI. So AI right now in the news is booming. I mean, we're talking about things like ChatGPT, Midjourney, Dolly, you name it. Right now, it's booming on the internet. And so much so that really what we are seeing right now is a revolution when it comes to AI. You know, we're seeing it evolve from one thing to, an to another, and it's crazy the things that we are seeing come from AI and how well it's being trained to make things online, like little pieces of art, uh, how it's capturing voices and changing people's voices to celebrities. It's incredible. But today I am gonna sit down and talk about one specific thing when it comes to AI, and that is how subtle sometimes it can be and how scary it can actually be in terms of its detailing. Okay, so let's talk about this image right here. Yes, the Pope image that was booming a few months ago on the internet. But this specific image is proof that most of the time when we talk about AI, we aren't really discussing how realistic some of these details can be to the point where you look at it and you can't tell whether it's real or it's made through AI. And honestly, I have found several examples on the internet of things that you can look at and say, listen, this looks a little too realistic. And one example that I saw on the internet very recently is that there was an update to Midjourney to actually bring in photorealism so that when you look at an AI generated picture, it looks so realistic that you really can't tell whether it's a picture or made through AI. So I'm gonna show you some of the photos right here. So every photo that you're seeing pop up right here right now was made in Midjourney. And Midjourney is kind of like the leading AI right now. And as you can see, this is scary. Like how good this is to the point where I look at it and I think, man, this is starting to, you know, freak me out because typically I'm the type of person that I can look at an image and be like, okay, that's fake. Oh, this is fake. Oh, the hand is a little off or this little thing right now is a little off here and there. And it's really getting crazy when it comes to AI for me personally, because if I can't tell the difference between a real photo and an AI generated one, now I start to question a lot of other things as well. Now, AI is definitely assisting people in different ways. I, I can definitely see the positive side of AI and these types of AI. You know, sometimes you need a logo made really quickly and you don't really wanna go through the hassle of, you know, taking someone's time to make that logo for you. So you hop on Midjourney, you pay a nominal fee to use Midjourney for maybe a month or two and you can get all the assets that you need. You know, a really good example of that is this image right here. I believe this person is a professor that is actually using assets from Midjourney to give lessons. It's all generated in AI. So in a way, AI is really helping out a lot of people and giving people a cheap alternative to going the separate route of asking another human being of making the sacrifice of doing this by hand. Now, in terms of the implications between AI and human-made art, that is a video that I'm gonna do maybe in the future. But right now I'm talking simply about how AI is getting a little too good. And that means how realistic photos are getting through AI. So. I'm, I'm really at a point where I look at something and I start to question whether or not it was made in AI or not. And even ads as well. I'm looking at certain ads on the internet now that I'm now starting to question myself. Is this actually photo based? Is this a photographer that took the photo or is it something that was done in AI? 
And, you know, AI can be used again for really great things, can be used for funny things as well. I mean, as you can see right now, like this is like a funny picture that you can make through Mid Journey and it's very detailed. Uh, you can design different things from your favorite games. I mean, sometimes you have a favorite game like Zelda or something and you want to design something really quickly based on Zelda. I mean, this right here is also based on Zelda and it was done in AI. Uh, I can design something based on a movie. I mean, if I wanted to create a movie poster, I could just hop on AI, ask for it to base it on a specific style and it can create me a poster. For example, like for James Bond, I mean, you can see right now, like that was done in AI. It wasn't someone who physically drew it. Um, I could really think of anything outside the box and AI can pull that off. And in certain ways, uh, it's very fun. It's exciting to do and, and see and how it works. And in another, it's starting to get scary to the point where like I said, you really can't tell. And that can be a problem, mainly when it comes to people of older age that really can't see the difference between a real photo and a photo that's made in AI. And I mean, I'm not that old, but I can look at certain photos and question whether it's real or not, you know? But if you ask someone who is older to look at a photo, maybe of the one that we started this video off of with the Pope, they might think it's a real photo. And that is scary in and of itself. Because if we can't tell what AI is making, especially now, imagine a year from now, or five years from now, or maybe even 10 years from now, how AI is gonna shape society itself. You know, I know it's it sounds all philosophical and everything, but as someone like me who wishes to get into the movie industry, I see a lot of positive things come from AI, but at the same time, it is something that is to be questioned in a way and sort of the ethics around it because now it's kind of getting scary. And I don't know about you guys, but Recently, my dad saw that trailer that was going viral of the Wes Anderson style Star Wars movie. I'm gonna put it up right now. But it's the point where my dad saw that and said, hey, did you hear about the new Star Wars movie that they're creating? And I was like, what are you talking about? And he was like, yeah, there's a new Star Wars movie coming out. And I was like, which one? The one with Rey getting pregnant? We already talked about this in this video, in this channel. But he said, no. It's one that's very kind of artistic. It looks almost like a fan film. I was like, okay. And he puts on this video and says, hey, this is the new Star Wars movie, right? And I was like, no, this is entirely generated through AI. So that alone kind of scared me into thinking that, wow, if he couldn't detect that that was made in AI, imagine the larger portion of society that can't detect that it's AI. And if it if something as simple as that can be called into question, imagine photography in the future. I mean, you could falsify an image very easily using AI. You could literally hide your identity behind someone that doesn't exist using AI. You could generate pictures of an event that never happened and call into question whether it's real or not. And those questions start to make me think it could be really scary really quickly what negative things can be done with AI. And I know that this whole video has kind of like taken a shift as to like saying like, oh, it's getting really good, but now the truth is, is that this could really, really start impacting humanity. And I'm someone who is 100% pro AI. I'm someone who I think AI is definitely gonna change society for better. But when certain things like this happen, 
where you start to call into question reality itself, that's when we start to get into very icky territory. And in my opinion, that is something that we need to have a conversation about. So I want to know from you personally, what do you think AI is doing right now that is scaring you in a way? Like what exactly about AI is scary that you don't like? Or in reverse to that very question, uh, what do you think that is good about AI? What do you think that AI is doing right now that is changing humanity for the positive? I wanna hear from you down in the comments below. And while you're down in the comments, hit the subscribe button and hit the bell because videos on this channel are about cool, innovative ideas and stories like AI itself and how realistic it's getting. And I hope you guys enjoy this video and I'll see you in the next video.